Hello, uh, today I just wanted to share with you guys a couple of examples on how to use mean content, uh, max content, and feed content to size uh, paragraphs of text and uh, grid tracks if, uh, if we have the grid. So we can use those uh, keywords. Okay, so I have a couple of examples to share. And the first example is the example where there is no grid. And we use this example just to understand the difference between mean content, max, and fit content. And let's take a look at the markup. So this is, we have two, two divs, two containers. Uh, this is our div with class no grid, just our, for our first example. And then it's just a simple div with just uh, some content. And then on our no grid, we have, uh, we just gave it a width and some styling. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, uh, what happens is uh, if there is no sizing at all uh, on our div. Let's see here. Right now it has max content, but uh, I'm just going to comment this out. Let's see. So we have a um, container width of 100 pixel. And let's see, we have uh, uh, the padding. Padding we can just uh, reduce a little bit or just uh, comment it out. So padding. Okay, so this is our div and within the container. Container is 100 pixel, okay? And what's happening is that if there's no sizing, so because our div is a block level HTML element, it just stretches across its container to fit the width of 100 pixel, okay? So container 100 pixel, and this is our div, this one, this is our div, it just stretches to, to fit the width of its container because it's block level, okay? That's the first scenario. And you can experiment uh, just giving it uh, the, the, like say, div is like 150 pixel. Let's see what happens. So basically, yes, it just stretches within its to fit the width of the container. Okay. So that's the first scenario. Then the second, uh, also, if we give our div uh, this text, um, the, the keyword mean content, and then let's see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to comment this, remove uh, comments. And let's see. gonna make border one or maybe remove it okay so mean content let's see what happens that's the mean content so our div with mean content and what we see here is the div the div shrinks to fit the uh, the widest <coughs> like longest word so actually, let's add some text to see the difference. I'm just going to here, go here, and let's do, oh, sorry, not here, uh, this one. Let's do, like, lorem, say, 5. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is the behavior. So you see... The uh, the widest word, like the longest word, is lorem. So our div fits that word, so the container. Okay. However, let's uh, try the last the last one. So let's try changing it to max content, and then see what happens to with our text. 
max content and our text and then let's see you see it overflows the container so max content we we add more text the d would expand to feed the whole text string and if it's if it's wider than the container it, it just breaks overflows the container okay this is max content and this is no greed example with no greed okay now uh, let's see how we can use those keywords in our grid uh, to size the uh, track grid tracks okay so this is our grid example uh, second uh, div like a wrapper div which contains uh, seven divs with some uh, content in it and let's see what happens so let's try the first uh, keyword which is min content and let's see I'm just going to remove this for now. So min content. So we also activate our outer rows with 150 pixel for each row. Grid gap is too much. Maybe I'll just uh, make it five, say five pixel and mean content okay so we have our grid template columns with so which is we declare three columns first column we assign mean content and then one fr one fr okay uh, so let's see oh so mean content again the same behavior as in our previous example without grid you see it it just shrinks to fit the content okay and then let's see what happens if we add like say we add here more text say like lorem 10 Okay, so uh, as in our previous example uh, without grid, with um, you see it fits the length or the width of the widest or the longest word in that in our in our text. So this is uh, the uh, the main content. Okay, let's see what happens with the max content. Okay, max content. Okay, you see, uh, it just accommodates the text as one one line. So it just uh, grows to fit the whole text as one line and then eventually it would break uh, the and overflow the container if the text becomes too long let's actually try this maybe what if we do like uh, lorem 100 yeah so if we we have a horizontal scroll so it overflow the container and just it and then you see only here our next uh, second and the third col um, columns same behavior as uh, as, as in uh, without the grid in the previous examples okay and there's also the third one which is called feed content keyword 
this keyword should have length value assigned to it. And the length value uh, uh, could be pixel, EMs, or RAMs. It also accepts uh, percentage values. And let's see how this works. So I'm just going to remove for now. Remove this text. Okay, so we do fit fit content and the length I'll just open the brackets let's try like say 10 rem so fit content 10 rem let's actually add more text just to see Oops. Oh, how about to do like 20 okay so if this one should be 10 RAM the width so the way this works is it's um, with the fit content is that the grid item would keep growing until it hits the width values that we declare. So it would keep growing, but once it hit, in our example, 10 RAM, it would stop growing and the whatever content it would it would start wrapping. In our example, this is text, so that's why we see text wrapping here because it hit 10 RAM. Okay. But uh, let's try just uh, out of curiosity what happens. Um, pixel. So let's do like maybe uh, 10, uh, no, 10, maybe 50 pixel. Yeah, and then and you see because we have the fixed uh, outer rows, that's why it also overflew the, uh, the outer row, like the... Uh, the horizontal border. Okay, fit content 50 pixel. This one you see it's out of, uh, out of blue, this one. 50 pixel and if we inspect just out of curiosity, let's see our div, this is our Fit content 50 pixel. Let's see, grid layout. So this is our fifty pixel first column. You see it hits a uh, fifty pixel here and then it just starts wrapping. Okay, and what else? So let's just check uh, yeah, so just a fifty pixel and just starts wrapping. That's basically all guys I wanted to share with you today and um, as always thank you for watching.